have studied in compressible fluid flow that is Mach number as well as we have studied the other properties of compressible fluid. We have also studied in kinematics of fluid flow what is stagnation pressure. Now let us combine all the concept of kinematics of fluid and compressible fluid flow to study what is stagnation pressure. Stagnation pressure Now, what is stagnation pressure? Let us understand this. We have already studied stagnation pressure. Stagnation means when something is at a rest. And we have to calculate a pressure when it is at rest. Supposingly, a fluid is flowing in positive direction of x-axis and there is an obstruction over here. So, this fluid will try to travel in this direction over that obstruction. But, if you see this surface over here, that is the point over here on the body where this entire part that the pressure over here will remain constant. Why it will remain constant? Because the body is not moving in that direction as well as the fluid is also at this point is at rest. So, at stagnation point, we have to calculate three quantities over here that is stagnation pressure, stagnation temperature and stagnation density. Why we have to calculate stagnation density? Because we are in compressible fluid flow. When we are in compressible fluid flow, the density of the fluid changes. But mind you one thing, if you consider over here as a section 1-1 one, one, and at the stagnation point section 2-2. Two, two, so at section 2, the velocity V2 will be 0 because it is a stagnation point. When we are at the stagnation point, the velocity will be 0 since the fluid will be stopping at this point. So now, let us apply Bernoulli's equation provided one of the conditions we should satisfy that is this is in the horizontal plane. If it is in the horizontal plane, then we know that Z1 is equal to Z2 and let us assume that it is an asentropic process that is entropy remains constant or adiabatic process where entropy remains constant. So now let us apply Bernoulli's equation over here. So what do we get after applying Bernoulli's equation for an adiabatic process? So we know that over here that is gamma upon gamma minus 1 P1 upon a rho 1 plus v1 square by 2g plus z1 is equals to gamma upon gamma minus 1 p1 upon rho 2 p2 rather upon rho 2 plus v2 square by 2g plus z2. So now over here we already taken into consideration that it is at the horizontal plane. That means there is no head difference. Z1 is equals to Z2. So these two values are same. And similarly, since it is a stagnation point in where the body comes at, where the fluid comes at rest, not the body, there V2 will be equals to 0. Now the concept of stagnation comes where in actual application this uh, concept of stagnation comes when a aeroplane is riding at a very high velocity the nose or the tip of an aeroplane has a stagnation pressure temperature and density since it is traveling at a very high velocity the pressure exerted on the nose or uh, pressure exerted on the nose is very large due to which the temperature as well as the density near the nose increases so that is what we have to calculate over here that is the stagnation pressure that is the pressure at the tip of the nose and the temperature at the tip of the nose. Now this can be taken into consideration when there is an aeroplane or we can take any automobile which is riding at a very high velocity. So during which or even at a low velocity also there is some stagnation pressure some stagnation temperature at the nose of the vehicle. 
So let us get into detail and calculate what is stagnation pressure. So over here, V2 will be equals to zero. So this part tends to zero. We will have the equation as gamma upon gamma minus one into P1 upon rho one plus P1 square by 2g is equals to gamma upon gamma minus one into P2 upon rho two. Let us take for our convenience for just for the sake of writing the derivation that as gamma upon gamma minus 1 is equals to capital X or small x depending upon our convenience. So I can take this as equals to x into p1 upon rho 1 minus x into p2 upon rho 2 is equals to minus v1 square by 2g. Let us take this in let us take x common from here and let us see what do we get over here. So once we take x common, we'll get x into p1 upon rho 1 minus p2 upon rho 2 is equals to minus v1 square by 2g. Now our, our idea is to calculate what is stagnation pressure. So over here p2 will be equals to p stagnation that is the stagnation pressure which we have to calculate at section 2 but for time being we will keep this as p2 for our evaluation at the end when we will complete the derivation we will substitute the value of p2 is equals to ps that is what is the stagnation pressure. So now let us calculate this let me take over here p1 upon a row 1 1 minus p2 upon rho 2 into rho, rho 1 upon rho 1 upon p1. Since we are taking p1 upon rho 1 as common, so this will be equals to minus v1 square by 2g. So now we know that since it is an adiabatic process, for an adiabatic process, we know that p1 rho 1 raised to gamma is equals to p2 rho 2 raised to gamma. So I, we can substitute over here that is p2 by p1 that is p2 by p1 is equals to rho 2 by rho 1 raised to gamma. So let us substitute the value of p2 by p1 since this is p2 and this is p1 p2 by p1 is equals to rho 2 by rho 1 raised to gamma we know that p2 by p1 p2 by p1 is equals to gamma 2 by gamma 1 raised to rho 2 by rho 1 raised to gamma so now we have to calculate what is rho 1 by rho 2 so in our previous equation we had seen that that is x into p1 upon rho 1 into 1 minus of p2 by p1 into rho 1 by rho 2 is equals to minus v1 square by 2g. So over here we have value of rho 2 by rho 1 which will substitute in terms of p, p2 by p1 since we are evaluating stagnation pressure not stagnation density. So now this will be x into p1 upon rho 1 into 1 minus p2 by p1 p2 by p1 into p2 by p1 so this will be p2 by p1 into p2 by p p1 raised to 1 upon gamma is equals to minus v1 square by 2g so this entire thing we have got over here so now next part what we are going to look is we are going to combine this and we will substitute the value of x now what is value of x we will substitute that is let us write down the left hand side therefore 1 minus p2 by p1 raised to p2 
by P1 will be raised to this will be raised to minus 1 upon gamma. So this will be 1 minus 1 upon gamma. And when we'll go on the other side, we'll get this as equals to minus B1 square by 2G into root 1 by root 2 into value of x is gamma minus 1 upon gamma. So now let us use this to our advantage. So this will be equals to therefore this is 1 minus p2 by p1 raised to gamma upon gamma minus 1 is equals to minus of v1 square by 2g into rho 1 upon p1 into gamma minus 1 upon gamma. Now we know that Mach number is defined as we know that Mach number is defined as V by C. Similarly, C that is velocity of sound for an adiabatic process is a given as a square root of gamma upon P upon rho. P by rho. So for initial velocity, this will be given, given as gamma 1 root of gamma 1 P1 upon rho 1. So hence C1 square will be equals to gamma 1 P1 upon rho 1 which we have in our denominator. So let us write this down. Therefore 1 minus P2 by P1 raised to gamma minus 1 upon gamma will be equals to minus of v1 square by 2g into we have the value over here that is a rho 1 p1 into gamma which will be in turn equals to what c1 and into gamma minus 1. So let us convert this into a mat number. So this will be equals to 1 minus P2 by P1 raised to gamma upon gamma minus 1 will be equals to minus of V1 square upon this part is a C1 square. So let us substitute this as a C1 square into 1 upon 2G into gamma minus 1. That will be a constant. We will take this part, this entire equation towards left hand side and P2 by P1 on the right hand side. So what equation we will get that is 1 plus 1 plus m1 square upon 2g into gamma minus 1 will be equals to p2 by p1 raised to gamma minus 1 upon gamma. So we know that the value of mat number will be equals to v1 square upon c1 square that is the initial mat number of the fluid. So now let us substitute over here. We will get this part as equals to this entire equation. We will substitute p2 is equals to p stagnation and this equation becomes equals to 1 plus Mach 1 number square that is initial Mach number square upon 2g into gamma minus 1. This will go on the other side. This will be gamma upon gamma minus 1 will be equals to P stagnation and this pressure we can multiply on the other side. So we have the equation of stagnation pressure that is P stagnation in terms of Mach number and initial pressure. So, this P stagnation is a significant, plays a significant role in calculating the pressure exerted. It plays an important role in calculating the pressure exerted on the entire surface of an aeroplane or an aircraft or an entire vehicle. So, this, has, this is the formula for P stagnation. I hope you have understood how to calculate P stagnation temperature. Thank you.